George Lynch, and you're watching the George Lynch Guitar Method. Why does George Lynch use so much delay? Uh, good question. Um, like this? No delay. Wind delay. call his delays chasers because the first note is hit and then the second maybe third fourth feedback times follow like chasing the original note like <laughs> see it was chasing the first note to delay mostly to for sustain embellishments and to make the note last a little bit longer with an effect like question is Tony can you please show us really quick uh, the easiest George Lynch trills exercises um, okay great question uh, the fastest way I can show you George Lynch's trills as exercises for you to master just follow my index finger uh, never mind what I'm playing but look at my fingers and look at the speed and that's pretty much what you want to work on your index finger and either your second third or fourth whatever fingers you want to use that's up to you but your index finger obviously is P. So just look at the speed and you don't have to worry about what you're listening to but the whole point it is just build up your speed and these are going to be really simple so hopefully they'll help you out. And if you want a uh, video on this some more let me know. <laughs>
again, if you have any questions on this particular exercise, you want more video of this, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to make a video. Nothing. <laughs>
and his channel a lot. Uh, I enjoy watching Pixie Lynx's channel. And although I, I've never met him personally, uh, as most of you can attest, when you watch enough of Pixie Lynx's videos, you feel like you already know the guy or that you've known the guy since high school. Very friendly, very personable, uh, easygoing, very funny, uh, very knowledgeable with uh, music and guitar. Um, so have I ever met him personally? No. Have I ever jammed with him? No. I think it'd be a great video if I was sitting on that sofa of his. <laughs> and he'd be playing his licks. I'd be doing some Jordan Lynch. But he has all the equipment. I just have my little Boss e band. He has all the, you know, stable of guitars, amplifications, computer software. So he's really high tech with all that stuff. And all I got is my little Boss e band uh, and a little guitar cable. So uh, will I ever meet him? Who knows? Maybe we'll meet next year at NAMM. I've never been to NAMM, even though I'm right here in California. And he traveled all the way from Boston to go to California, to go to NAMM. So, uh, maybe uh, he and I will meet in NAMM. If not, uh, he's a great guy, and I'm glad I know him uh, as Steve. And so, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Steve, if you're out there, what up, Steve? What up, Pixie Lix? <laughs> Alright, that's enough of my question about Pixie Lix and Tony. You know some variations on some pinky exercises and Jordan Lynch goes to town so before I sign off on this little video let me give you a brief demonstration of some elaborate pinky exercises okay uh, go ahead and rewind this or if you want a detailed video on this uh, I'll, I'll make one so here we go <laughs> That's the left-handed pinky exercises where Jordans can do. share with us a George Lynch secret that you haven't shared with us before. Basically this person knows I've been holding out on you guys. Long story short, there's a simple easy method to never mess up when wanting to play like George Lynch. I guess it can work with any other guitarist, but for George Lynch this is what I got from him in 1983. I'm going to play a little demo and then I'll reveal that secret. Check this out. What did I just do? story short, Jordan Lynch in 1982-83, somewhere in Germany. I had a magazine. I wish I had the magazine. Long story short though, you can never go wrong to hit these weird off notes at the most inopportune times. Inopportune, opportunistic times. That's the right word. Uh, basically, wherever you see a fretted inlay, is that the right word? The, the, dot, the dots on your fretboard, is that 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 17, 19, 21? Play anything you want to, just land on that note. It can be the E string, 
the B string, G string, preferably the E string. And then you're just going to basically hit these lattice bits, sharp notes, depending on where you're at. And when you hit those notes, bend up, do a uh, trill, or use your bar. <laughs> questions regarding um, guys are learning the licks I'm showing them and they're having trouble putting that into their playing, their actual playing without sounding uh, like they're copying a solo from a song. They want to use the licks I'm sharing with you guys and noodle around with it. So the easiest way I can say is whenever you're playing in the key of E <laughs> What I learned since 1983 is that George Lynch primarily, even to this day, whenever he's playing in the KV, he loves, absolutely loves hitting the notes and playing in the key of F sharp, G, and B. Those three notes, those three keys, he loves soloing over the key of E. Let me demonstrate. Here's your F sharp. Here's your G. And there's your B. So. Demonstrate that. Let's here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 